Hey everyone, welcome back to Pep Coding. So in this video, we are going to solve an equation which is remove outermost parenthesis. So what we are given is you are given a valid parenthesis string in form of a plus b plus c, where a, b, and c are valid primitive strings. Okay. So next is a primitive string is a valid parenthesis string which can't is uh, can't be split in s equal to x plus y with x and y non-empty valid parenthesis strings and we have to remove the outermost parenthesis from all primitive strings so as we're given this example uh, so let's take a look at this example okay so thing was this one this was the input so what will we do we are given valid parenthesis like uh like this is a valid parenthesis how uh, we can say because this is balanced parenthesis okay so first we'll split it into parts how we can split it we can split it if you can see we can split this one and then this one so this example can be uh, split into two parts so like this is the first part and this is the second part, right? Okay, so now we have to remove outermost parenthesis. So this is the innermost. For first, we'll process the innermost parenthesis and add them into the answer. Okay, this is the second one, right? This is the outermost. We have to exclude this from our answer. This is the innermost. We have to include this and we have to exclude this, right? So, our answer would be this, right? Okay. So, if you talk about invalid parenthesis, like, okay. So, this is invalid parenthesis because the, this one is not balanced, okay? This is invalid. This can't be given. Uh, to us as an input because it is the rule of the question that only valid parentheses are uh, are allowed in this question okay so let's take other examples also like if we have this one okay this is the innermost as well as outermost so what we can do is we will remove these parentheses and an empty string will be our answer okay so for this example we have this innermost include this in an answer exclude these parentheses okay this is the outermost so for this one we have we can split them so this is the innermost this is the innermost this is the outermost so our answer would be right so this one what we have is this is the innermost this is the innermost this is also innermost this can't be split because and this one is the outermost right so the answer would be yeah this would be the answer okay so in the actual world, we are not splitting them into two parts. What we are doing is so we are having a stack. We will use a stack in this question for the optimized approach. Like if we have this example, right? So we will use a stack. What we do? If this opening uh, parenthesis came to us, opening brackets came, then first we'll check if the stack is empty or not, and we'll push it into the stack. Okay. If closing bracket came, what we'll do? We will remove and then check. Okay. So, First, this one came, okay? Put them into the stack. Add them into the stack. Then, 
this came. Check, there is one, so this is not the outermost. Add them, add it in the stack. Then the closing bracket came. Okay, first we'll remove this one. Okay, remove, pop it out. Removed, okay. This is an answer. We'll check if the stack is not empty then it can be added to our answer right so this is added to our answer next next we came here stack is not empty pushed in the stack right this is pushed then this one came okay this came so first we we'll remove remove it okay now this will check if the stack is not empty so this is not the outermost add it into the answer okay next we we'll check for this one so for this one the closing bracket what we have is first remove remove it pop it out now we'll check the stack is empty right so we can't add it to the answer so it will not be added to the answer because it was outermost okay this was our condition next we came here right so we'll add it okay next we came here push it in the stack okay next we came here pop it out and then see if the stack is empty or not. Stack is not empty. So add it into the answer. This is also added. Next, this closing, last closing bracket came. Pop it out. Popped. Okay. So now we will see the stack is empty. So we can't add it to the answer. So our answer would be this. Like if we were solving this. As an example only, what we were doing earlier was splitting it into the two parts. Okay, plus, right. And we were removing, processing the innermost and removing the outermost. So you know, this was the answer earlier also. And with the help of the stack, we got this answer. So this was the approach. Let's take one more example. Right. Let's take this example. Okay. Make a stack. First, if the opening bracket came, check it. Okay. Then push it. If the closing bracket came, what we were doing? We were removing first. Then checking if the stack is empty. Right. Push it into, into the stack first. Then the closing bracket came. Remove it. Removed. Now see, now check. If the stack is empty, we will not put it in the answer. Okay. So now we came here. Push it into the stack. Now we came here. Remove it. Pop it out. So now what we have, uh, the stack is empty. So it answer will not include these brackets, these parentheses. Next we came here, push it into the stack. Next we came here, push it into the stack. For the closing bracket, remove this one and see if the stack is empty or not. Stack is not empty. So this will be included in our answer. Next, this closing bracket came. Pop it out and see if the stack is empty or not. Stack is empty. So it will not be included in our answer. And this will be our answer. For earlier what we were doing, if we were splitting it into the parts, this would give an empty string, this would give an empty string, right? And this would 
press the the innermost brackets and remove the outermost right so this would be our answer by using stack this is our answer so it is the same so we discussed the approach and algorithms so let's code it now okay the so first let's write it here if the opening bracket came first we'll check and then push right if the closing bracket came remove it first and then check right these were the two steps what we were doing let's code it Okay, we are given the function remove outermost parenthesis. What we have to do make a stack first of character type. Okay, st equal to new stack. Right, make a string builder. Is the equal to new string builder. Right. Okay. Next, what we have? Start a loop from int i equals to zero. I left in s dot int i plus zero. Okay. Right. Next, what we'll do? Take out the character cash ch equal to s dot caret i. Next, if our character is equals to equals to opening target. Right. We we'll take the condition if a star with size is greater than zero. If it is not empty, first we'll check, then append. See it, right? Okay. And we will push it. Push the character. Okay. Else, what will we do? Else remove st dot bar, then check if ch if st dot size is greater than zero, then st dot append ch. Right? If condition done, popping out done. At last, what we will return? Return sb dot to print. Yeah. Let's run this code and see if it's correct or not. Okay. So, little mistake. Let's run now. We will write okay, small mistake again. Run it now. Okay, let's submit this code. Okay, all test cases passed. So, I hope I was clear with the concept today. And thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.